Hi, I'm Streaky. This is Metropolis Mastering. Today I'm discussing flavours. So firstly, before I go on, the screen quality is bad because my car got smashed into, my all my equipment got stolen. So hence why it's a little bit grainy today. The sound is a bit rubbish. Um, sort of going back, this quality sort of takes me back to uh, the good old days where I had a little tiny uh, iPhone. So uh, that will be back on track next week once I've repurchased some equipment. If you're, and so the lighting's all a little bit rubbish as well so i apologize for that if you're if you're liking these videos and you and they're only short these videos mainly because they're just sort of quick tips and stuff and they normally are about five minutes long if you like if you want something a bit more long form uh, i've started a podcast now with shay and we're bringing in guests as well it's uh, audio engineers podcast i'll link to it below so that you can check it out so if you want something a bit more long form something to listen to whilst you're in the car then uh, check that out but today I'm talking about flavours. Now you might think, what's he talking about? What's, what are flavours? That's mental. But really it's something that most master engineers do, but you don't hear anything of it because it's something you do you don't really think about. Uh, it's kind of sometimes called gain staging. And it's basically what I'm saying is I've got certain bits of equipment that I don't have any level on and I don't have any... Um, it, it doesn't do any processing. I'm just going straight through it just to add subtle flavours to the sound. So, for example, I've got just a box here which is called a Summit Warm Interface. Now, it's you can't, you can't find them anywhere. I have found it years ago. It's got some tubes in it. It's basically the in and out of a Summit compressor without the compression. But it sounds amazing. Like, you put it on and it just goes just locks the sound in and it gives this kind of like warm personality so that's great i've got this avalon 747 if ever you're buying a piece of kit for mastering i suggest you buy that one first because it's got an eq on it it's got a compressor on it it's tubey so obviously it's not ideal because tubes for compression sometimes aren't quick enough it's fairly fast so it does work i don't use it for that i just as i say go through it for the tone of the tubes sounds fantastic i also use like this sontec which is i i might not have an eq on it sometimes i do obviously because it's a great eq but you can use it and just go through it and it gives a certain sound it's just got just going through the stuff it sounds good now there are plugins that are the same because obviously if they've gone to the to the problem you know to all the difficulties should i say of um you know of What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, for re reproducing the sound, you can, you know, if you run through it, there was a Poltec one on the UAD, I think, that I used to use just to run through that had a really nice vibe to it. So go through all of those plugs. Don't put anything on them and just use them to go in and out of and then you can just get some flavours. Every engineer here does it. Uh, they sometimes just run through, maybe put a bit of level on, maybe a bit of top, maybe a little bit nudged out here and there. And that's all they end up doing, just because they're running through the equipment. And it just sound, it's got a sound to it. So you'll go, okay, let's try that old 70s compressor. Don't put anything on it. Just run through it, see how it sounds. And it does. It has a little vibe. There's a, the Shadow Hills compressor um, that a couple of the boys in the other rooms have got and they like. And that's just got like iron settings and things. So they just run through that. A lot of the old, old Valvey gear is really good for it. The Manly's good for it as well, just going through it. Um, sometimes you can push the level, on some of them you can push the level a little bit so that you can gain stage through and it kind of adds a little bit of EQ in a way. It's not adding EQ but it just through pushing into it a little bit it just adds a little bit of flavour and you know similar way to maybe tape did but tape was using actual tape compression but you're still getting a sound. Uh, you can also just go through a tape machine and that'll give you a sound without even running the tape just go on the inputs and you get you get a sound so if you find an old tape machine somewhere get hold of it see how it sounds just running through it, it gives you a vibe and they're, they're just little things that you can use just to add as i say add some flavors to the sound and start mixing it up so that it's not just all about what you add and what you take away and slamming it with stuff it's just add a little 
add little touches here and there and it will just create a nicer sound for you. Well, I hope that's helped. Uh, as I say, if you want a longer, uh, a longer, more in-depth discussion, then check out the podcast, which is linked below. Please subscribe to this uh, channel on YouTube. And thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.